Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about how to play games and today we're going to be playing Luigi's Mansion. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we started off area two. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on the store to the right because we have a way to get into here. This is the laundry room. You want to suck up this punching ghost? Well, I'm gonna get that. Now, I don't want to open up this washing machine yet. You can if you want to, but I'm gonna wait until I've completely cleared out this room so I can explain what's in there. And there we go, that should be the last ghost. Oh, there's a green chest over there. Green chests typically have a bunch of money in them. Let's see if this follows that trend. Yes, it does. Got a couple of gold bars, a bunch of bills, a bunch of coins. And now, before I open this up, I'm going to search for the boo. Come on. Th this might be a bit tough because this is a bit of a cramped room. There we go. Boogie. Or boogie, I guess. It's boo number 10. Unbelievable, there's no stopping you, Luigi. Be careful, Luigi. Okay, he doesn't say anything important for 10. Now I want to open up this washing machine. You found Mario's hat, and it's been laundered recently. I even played the Mario 64 Stargate sound effect. Anyways, as previously mentioned, Madame Clairvoya is a seer for dropped items. So you bring a dropped item to her, and she tells of the future, or the present, or whatever it is. I'm gonna go ahead and get her to appear again. Hmm, what is this object you have here? Please, show it please to Madame Clairvoya. What is this? Why if it isn't Mario... Mars hat. It's so clean as if someone just washed it. Sorry, sometimes I like to be a, add a little drama, you know. Hmm? Just one moment. Did I just say Mario? Could it be that Mario? Ah, I see now. Well, I see everything so I saw it before. But now I really see it. So, you are the brother of the famous Mario. You've come to this place to find him. Well, aren't you a good little brother? Hack ha 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 or... Excuse me, I don't laugh much. Oh, they come. Now the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show me the awful things occurring here tonight. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits comes. Show us what we seek. Oh, Horum, I see that your Mario lives. Well, he is not in the spirit world, but one cannot say he is alive. Ha 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 ha! Excuse me, sorry. Where is he? Where is he now? Ah, the spirits fall silent. Uh, this this is all I can tell for you now. Bring bring to me another clue, and I shall show you your brother to you. This clue no longer speaks to us. So yeah, if we find more of Mario's clothing, we can, you know... What am I trying to say? If we find more of Mario's clothing, we could bring it to Madame Clairvoya, and maybe we'll see if Mario's alive, or if he's not alive, or whatever weird in-between there is. You want to go over to the bottom left corner of this room, shake it, and you get a sapphire. I thought I couldn't collect that for a second. I was like, I've collected this before. I'm gonna get this little fire guy. So this is the butler's room, right? But there's no butler here. We're gonna fix that in a second. But first I'm gonna... You wanna examine this mouse hole. And for some reason that makes it suck you right into it. There are a bunch of gold bats here, which unlike their mice counterparts, don't give you a bunch of money. They're just annoying. So you just wanna open up all of the chests. And these are elemental ghosts. Those are ice elemental ghosts, and if you hit them with fire, they get stunned. They can't be stunned with your normal flashlight. 
So just use fire. You can technically just keep using fire on them until they die, but it's a lot more cost effective to just use fire for a little bit to stun them and maybe get them down a couple of health points. But once you finally have them stunned, it's you should probably start sucking them up with your vacuum. Nothing in there. Got a ghost. Got a ton of money. And if you think that's a ton of money, just wait until we finally clear, finally clear out this room. We're gonna get a green chest. Oh, and hey, some more money. This hidden room is just all about money. You want to go ahead and open up the green chest. And you know what? I'm gonna, just so I don't accidentally activate the boo while I am trying to get to treasure, I'm gonna get the boo right now. Gumbo, like gumbo. So right now they only have 40 HP, but as we go along, they will progressively get higher and higher in terms of HP until they're an extreme chore to find. I'm gonna open this up, and we get a ruby, or er, yeah, a ruby and an emerald. Oh, and a sapphire too, I didn't even see that. Okay, I just had a heart attack because I looked over at my notes and I was like, wait, there's a speedy spirit in this room? But no, there doesn't there isn't a speedy spirit in this room until much, much later, so don't worry about that. That was just me not reading my thing correctly. So we want to head back out into the uh, hallway, the main hallway of Area 2, and you'll remember that there were some floating candles out in the top. Now, you'll kn you will know that whenever we see candles that are unlit, we want to go ahead and light them. Also, don't even bother with the ghosts in the hallways because they have zero HP and they're just there to mess with you. So just keep walking and you should be good. Got these candles, and suddenly, it's the butler. Fire, 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 run away. And so he'll try to run back to his room, and we need to beat him there. I guess you could technically get there after him, but it's better to just run there before him so you can catch him. You'll see what I mean in just a second. Also, this door at the top, another fake door. Now we just wait. I guess this is a good point to tell... My uh, to tell a story. Uh, the day I'm recording this, September 12th, is actually my birthday, and we just had a birthday party for me yesterday. We went to this, like, arcade and pizza place, and there's this one machine where it, it had a bunch of balls that you had to press a button. You inserted two coins, and then you pressed a button and it dropped all of the balls and there are these six spots that you had to get your balls into. Based on how many balls you got into these certain spots, you got a better prize. And it had this jackpot where the more people inserted coins and failed, the higher the jackpot got. And so eventually, it was at something like 461, I think. And I, uh, I was all out of money and I was just like, eh, I won't try that again. And then one of my cousins was like, uh, or a couple of my cousins were just like, hey, we have a few coins left over that we're not going to use. You can go ahead and use them. And I was like, oh, that's <laughs> that's cool. It's like a little mini birthday present. And I inserted coins into the machine, and I pressed the button, and I got the jackpot. And I got like 461 tickets. In total, I think I got like 581 tickets or something like that. Anyways, moral of the story is my luck is very... My luck can be very bad on but sometimes it can be incredible. Anyways, key. Anyways, like I said, it was my birthday, and so I got a few games for my birthday. I got the uh, Link's Awakening remake, which I mentioned in a previous episode how I played that when I was younger, and I, and I got scared by the uh, shopkeep. And so I'm finally getting to play the remake. I also got Splatoon 2. I know Splatoon 3 just came out, but, you know, it came out just a couple of days before my birthday, so there wasn't really a way that my parents could order it and have it appear on time. Anyways, this is the conservatory. 
Now I want you to listen to this and let me know if you recognize this song. Melody. People call me the spectral beauty of the ivory keys. What a stirring performance. I haven't been so charmed by a piece for ages. You must have a delicate ear for music. Would you like to listen to my piano sonata? Well, here I go. By the way, that song was featured in a famous game. You know which game? Exactly right, you got it! Very impressive, I guess I needed to hold back with you. Would you care to do battle with my lovely music sheets? And now we have to suck up all of her music sheets and then we can actually fight her. So another song that was supposed to play there was a Totaka song, a song that I talked about in the first episode where it was an easter egg that appeared in a bunch of the uh, a bunch of classic 90s and early 2000s Nintendo games. Please don't... Okay, thank god I got that all in one go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and... Get this boo. This is Boomio. I realize I'm not even reading the text boxes for the boos. Uh, I don't really have a good voice to give the boos, but then again, I don't really have a good voice to give any of the ghosts because, you know, I'm just kind of default defaulting to this sort of like mystical and sort of, I don't even know how to describe it voice. Fantastic. Way to go, Luigi. Send me the boo. Boo number 13. Of course, as always, we get a key. And I think we're actually getting pretty close to the end of Area 2. So you know what, let's go ahead and finish up Area 2 in this episode. This might even be a shorter Let's Play than I thought, because we're already almost halfway through the game. And we're only four episodes in, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Ah. I was about to explain something, but then I slipped. So, there's a couple of things that I need to get. First of all... There's a speedy spirit in this room. You want to open up this uh, this cabinet on the left. Okay, got it. I thought I was going to slip on the banana peel, but thankfully we got that. We got the emerald. Talking about emeralds again is reminding me of my Sonic Adventure LP, but no, that's... We've already finished that. There are a couple other Sonic games that I want to let's play on this channel. Uh, oh, hold on. There's a cheese piece over there. I also keep forgetting to uh, check the hearts of each of the uh, boss ghosts. Suck up that gold golden mouse and hooray. <laughs> now for this boss, you want to make sure you, you have fire want to light up all of these candles and that'll show off our boss ghost Mr. Lugs and he has these waiters that come by you want to first of all let me this is a bit hectic looks oh wait oh. nope look at the heart no one can see me in this darkness no one no one no no one well he's filled oh wait I guess some of this was out. So we want to suck up these waiters that keep coming by and giving them food. Ah, come on. So in order to get the uh, waiters to spawn, 
a good way to get them to spawn is to suck up all of Mr. Lugs' food. Because then the waiters have to come by. And I keep missing them. Dang it. All of his, all of his food. Okay, I'm just going to wait here for the waiter. Oh, or I guess the boss battle is already starting. I didn't realize you could start this early just by sucking up all of his food. I thought that's how you're supposed to get the waiters to appear. But yeah, he keeps shooting fireballs out of his mouth. Which, listen, I'm not a doctor, but that doesn't seem healthy. Yeah, you just keep walking back and forth. Whenever he spits out a fireball, just turn around. Or whenever he's about to. And then once he gets tired out, or tuckered out, you want to start sucking him up. And you have a bit of trouble because he keeps bringing you against this uh, against this table right here. And whenever you bump into furniture, then you don't... The, or then you stop sucking him up. On. Ah, gosh dang it. That was so close. Mr. Lugs isn't even the boss ghost. He's the final, not final boss of this area. But this should be it. Unless this somehow messes up. Okay, good. That's over. You know what? I'll get the money first this time. I think that's a diamond? Yeah, silver diamond, I'm pretty sure that is. I'll correct myself if I'm wrong. Okay. Bodacious. Like, bodacious. Whenever I hear surfer speak, I always think of Super Macho Man from Punch-Out. Like, especially his Wii counterpart. But yeah, here, here's a mechanic that I haven't even mentioned yet. Whenever Boo's, uh, like, go towards a wall... Come on. Suck up the dang Boo. Uh, whenever Boo's get towards a wall, they phase through them and go to a completely different room or hallway. And so this is where Boo hunting can get a bit tedious. Because they'll just keep going back and forth and back and forth. And some sometimes the vacuum will properly suck them up. Sometimes they they just decide just not to do that. They just decide not to properly get sucked up. Okay, I think the boo went to the other room. This is the speed... Or this is the kitchen, sorry. The speedy spirit is... I think in one of these kitchen appliances. That's not a speedy spirit. No, wait, hold on. I think that might be the final ghost. That, I think there's only one ghost in here. So. No. I messed this up. I might lose the speedy spirit. Oh, nope, I got him. Come on, sapphire. As long as I get the sapphire, I'm happy. I might get punched in the face here, though. Ow! <laughs> Suck up all that money. But yeah, I'm pretty sure there's only one ghost in this room, so that's why I started freaking out. Because, yeah, it immediately lights up, and then once it lights up, you can't get the speedy spirit anymore. First of all, before I get that, I'm going to set this on fire, because that gives you a ruby. And then we get the water metal. Hey now, Luigi! Now what have you st st stumbled across? Oh, this time it's a water element metal. Now you can use the water element. My research shows that these particular element ghosts leave their water watery dwellings whenever you approach. You know the drill? Vacuum them up. Use the L button to expel them once they're vacuumed. Press the L button all the way in, you can shoot out all, a big ball of water. I hear that these are. There are some ghosts who can be defeated only with water, actually. So also remember. Water. Uh, actually, also remember that 
Water has purifying properties, so use it well. Don't get too caught up with your new squirt gun, Luigi. So yeah, now I'm going to go ahead and find the ghosts, or booze, sorry. Normal ghosts are called ghosts. Booligan. Come on. Ah, oh, gosh dang it. Now where did that other boo go? And now we don't have to deal with that. That's boo number 15. <laughs> well done, Luigi. Now send me the boo and all the data you've got. Now we save. Everything's still recording. Okay, I just want to make sure because sometimes I get scared and I just look over and I think, what if I'm not recording? What if I've been going for the past like hour and a half now and I'm just not recording? Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to go in here and change your vacuum over to where it ex expels water because there's a lot of things you can do now that you have water first thing we want to do is we want to head back to that second floor balcony that toad was on now you want to take your water stuff and you want to water these plants because one of them gives you a sapphire and the others just give you a bunch of coins and bills now, you will also want to head on over to the master bedroom, the place where Lydia was. Once you get to the master bedroom, you want to head over and just like with the balcony, you want to water some plants. And you get an emerald. Okay, you want to get back here. Spray this with water. And then once the smoke goes away, I'll go ahead and refill on water. Once the smoke goes away, you're free to enter the door. First, you want to water this thing over here. This looks weird, but it's actually a plant. And we're going to come back and water that a bunch so we can get a bunch of money later. This is actually right below the second floor balcony. Right over here is Spooky the dog. And you want to fill up his bowl with water. And then look away, I think. Isn't that what you're supposed to do? There we go. I don't know why it wasn't working. Now who's going to start following you? He's going to start following you because you have water and he wants that. And eventually all of his barking. For the love of dirt, keep that yappa dog quiet. Or whatever he says. Uh, that's Mr. Bones, the owner of Spooky. I want to suck him up. It's weird, he's a skeleton ghost. So, a skeleton was alive and then died. Once you suck up his owner, he'll leave a behind a bone, and then Spooky will be attracted to that bone because he's a dog. I don't know why I said attracted, that sounds weird. He'll go after the bone because he's hungry. And that'll leave his heart open. And we get him. Having a bit of trouble with getting big pearls, but you know what? Doesn't matter too much as long as we're getting a bunch of secrets. Also, collecting all 50 boos, while not necessary, will help you get the uh, best ending with as much money as you can get. That's why we're getting a bunch of money, by the way. So now you want to examine the doghouse. That'll bring you over to the graveyard. This is where the final boss will be. First, you want to, well, not final boss of the game, just final boss of this area. You want to shake this, and you'll get a ruby. Now, what you want to do next is, I believe you get something for shaking a bunch of these graves. That's what you get, you get ambushed. Uh, these skeletons, while they look like Mr. Bones, are not Mr. Bones, they're just other skeleton ghosts. These guys are like dry bones, but they're humans. Once you suck all of them up, 
That gravestone at the top seems to be of interest. Just make sure there's nothing in here. Oh, there's a heart in there. You might want to need that if you're low on health uh, before this battle, because I forget. I don't know the consensus on this, but I think this is a pretty tough boss fight in the eyes of a lot of people. Let's begin. This is Bogmire, who also terrified me as a kid. I'll admit it, all of the, like, final boss ghosts of the area ghosts terrified me as a kid. You wanna... There, he has these shadows, these shadow creatures, and you want to suck them up and then shoot them back at the real Bogmire, which is pink. You just gotta keep walking around looking for him. And he eventually appears. Suck one of these guys up again. Come on. Up here. And then... Okay. Okay, I think the next hit should be the last. Okay, never mind. Yeah, sometimes you can have a bit of trouble with him. And if you're not that great at aiming your shots, then this can... Like that, right there. I got a bit too overconfident and then sucked at that. I <laughs> get it sucked because I'm using a vacuum. Okay, there we go. Bogmire is down. We're halfway through the game. This was a bit of a longer episode, but it was worth it because we got to see a lot more stuff. Luigi. Luigi, can you hear me? Good to hear you're still okay. I lost your signal when that lightning struck. Hmm, that was some battle you had there. Why don't you come on back to the lab? What? You think the lightning damaged the Poltergeist 3000? Don't worry about it. Even in that, even if that lightning had cooked your goose, the Poltergeist 3000 wouldn't even have a scratch. <laughs> so yeah, Poltergeist 3000 is pretty powerful. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. Looks like you got a vacuum full of ghosts there, what do you say? Put them through the old ghost portificationizer. The ghosts are invisible. So we need to press them into visible forms. And presto, turn them into beautiful ghost portraits. I honestly did better than I thought. Hmm. Well, I managed to turn those ghosts back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Now you've caught Area 2, Mr. Lugs. Got a silver. Floating World Lindas, that's what they're called. Melody Pianissima. Shivers. Spooky. And Bogmire. Nine ghosts so far. Yeah, that's in total. We got everything up. Got 9 million this area, and 29 million total. Or wait, no, that's not 9 million for this area. That's in terms of pearls. We got 29 million in total. That's the main thesis statement. And so with that, we have finished off area 2. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue on to 
Area 3. It feels weird that we're already halfway through this game because I'm still in the same recording session as in episode 1. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!